Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So welcome to my channel, Back of Day Crochet. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a basic granny square. So this is a well requested video that I get that I have gotten on my channel. But first, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, and don't forget to turn them notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I have hundreds and hundreds of crochet tutorials and lots of yarn content that I, I, like, to, I like to teach people about yarn as well as crochet. So for this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the basic granny. You will need to know how to do the basic stitches such as chain stitch, slip stitch, and double crochet. All right? But otherwise, it's very easy. Now, um, there are many, many people who have uh, basic granny square tutorials on YouTube. And everybody does them in their own way. So the way that I show you might be different than the way someone else shows you. It does not mean that it's wrong. Nobody's is wrong. Everybody has their own way of doing things. So I think as long as your granny square <laughs> looks like a granny square and lays flat, there's no wrong way to do it. So I'm going to show you my way. It might be a way you've already seen, or maybe it's going to be new to you. But let's go ahead and start. So for these particular granny squares, I just used um, basic, uh, this is Premier Basic. It's a medium weight number four, 100% um, acrylic yarn. I just use uh, all different colors. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using an eye, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. So depending on what you're making, you can use whatever yarn you choose and probably the recommended hook size on the yarn. Okay, so first off, we're going to start with a slip knot on our hook. Okay, now we're going to start off with a chain of three. So there's one, two, and three. Now we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch, and we're going to form a ring. So I throw that tail over and I always take my finger, my middle finger, and put it right here so I keep that ring open. Because sometimes when you're working with a small chain space like that, it will close up before you get to slip stitch it together. So go ahead and put my finger in there and then slip stitch it like that. And I have my finger there which held the center open. So now what we're going to do is chain one. So that chain one does not count as a stitch. It does not count as anything. So we can just pretend like it's not even there. What we want to do now is work three double crochets through the center of this ring. So I'm going to yarn over and go through the center of the ring and draw up a loop and pull it back through the center. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my double crochet. So that's one double crochet we've done. I'm going to do another one. So I'm going to yarn over, go through that center of the ring, draw up a loop, and go ahead and do my double crochet. So that's two double crochets we've done through the center of the ring. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to yarn over, go through the center of the ring, draw up a loop, and do a double crochet. Just like that so you can slide them over as you go you'll probably need to do that we have three double crochets now now what we're going to do is a chain of two one two so that chain of two right there is going to be one of the corners of our granny square so we're going to go back through the center of the ring again and we're going to work three more double crochets so we're going to yarn over go through the center of the ring and draw up a loop and go ahead and do our double crochet. We're going to do it again, another double crochet through the center of the ring. And again, another double crochet through the center of the ring. So there we have three double crochets again. I'm going to go ahead and slide them down 
and now I'm going to work another chain two. One, two. And that is going to be another corner of our granny square. So again, we're going to work three double crochets through the center of the ring. There's one. There's two. There's three. Okay, I'm going to chain two again. One, two, and that's going to be another corner of my square. I'm going to pull these down just a little bit. And again, I'm going to put three more double crochets through the center of the ring. There's one. There's two. There's three. So go ahead and take your tail and give it a tug. And it should close up that center circle, just like that. Now, if you look at what we have, we have four sets of three double crochets, and then we have three chain two spaces. Well, we And those are gonna act as our corners. Well, we need another corner. Now I am not going to chain two to make my corner here. I am going to put a half double crochet into the very first double crochet that we made. All right, so we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go into that very first double crochet that we did. Just go right into the top of it, draw up a loop, three loops on our hook, we yarn over and go through all three loops and that is a half double crochet and that is going to act as our chain two space. There we have it. Now the reason why I ended it like that is so I can begin directly in the chain space instead of having to uh, create a seam up my granny square. As you can see, my granny squares are seamless. There are no seams, there are no chain threes acting as double crochets or anything like that because I begin every uh, round in the chain space. So we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to start by chaining one, which does not count as a stitch. So we're going to work three double crochets into this chain space. There's one, go back in, there's two, go back in again, and there is three. Now we're going to chain one, and we're going to jump over here to our next chain space. And in this chain space, we are going to work three double crochets. There's one, two, and there's three. And then we're going to chain two, and that's going to count as the corner. We're going to slide these three over, and we're going to go back into the same chain space and work three more double crochets. There's one, two, and there's three. So we have a complete corner right here. Our very beginning one is only a half. We will finish it when we get back around. But now we have a complete corner. It was three doubles, a chain two, and three doubles. That's what makes up the corners of our granny squares. Now we're going to chain one. And we're going to jump over to our next chain two space and we're going to work this corner again so make sure you chain one there and then we're going to work in the chain space and we're going to work three double crochets there's one two three 
chain two. I slide them over a little bit, go back into the same chain space and work three more double crochets. There's one, two, and three. And now we have our second completed corner. So we're gonna chain one again. We're gonna jump over here to our next chain two space and we're gonna work our corner again. So we're gonna into the chain two space. We're gonna work three doubles. There's one, two, three. Then we will chain two. I'm gonna slide these on over and into the same chain space, I'm gonna work three more doubles. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna chain one. And now we are back at our starting point. This is where we made a half a corner because we only put three double crochets there. So we're gonna jump over here and we're gonna finish it out. We're gonna go into this chain space and we're gonna work three double crochets. There's one, two, and three. Instead of chaining two, we're gonna end the round with a half double crochet into the first double, and that is going to act as our chain two space. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the very first double crochet that we did, draw up a loop, and go ahead and go through all three loops. And that is our half double, which is acting as our chain two space. So there we completed round two. So round three, we will begin the same way we began round two. We're going to chain one, and we're gonna start off by working three double crochets into this chain, into this space right here. So there's one, two, and three. And then we need to chain one. And then we're gonna jump to this chain one space right here, and we're gonna work three double crochets into it. One, two, and three. And then we need to chain one after that. And now we're at a co the corner, the chain two space, the corner of our square. So we need to do the same thing that we did on the previous round. So into the chain space, we're going to work three double crochets. There's one. two, three, then we're gonna chain two, go slide it over, go back into the same spot, and work three more double crochets. One, two, and three. And now we completed a full corner there. So we need to chain one after that. And now we have a chain one space here, just like we did here. So we're gonna put three double crochets into this chain one space. One. Two. And three. And then we need to chain one after that one. And now we're at the chain sp two space we're at our corner right here, so we're gonna do the same thing that we did before. We do the same thing in every one of these corners except for the first one. Three doubles. Chain of two, slide it on over and put three more doubles into the same space. just like that. And now we completed another corner. We wanna make sure we chain one after that. 
and now we have a chain one space before we get to our next corner so in that chain one space we need to do three double crochets there's one two three <clears throat> make sure you chain one after that and now we're at a corner again our chain two space so we're going to do the same thing that we do at all the corners three doubles one two and there's three chain two slide that over if, if you need to and three more doubles into the same spot there's one two and three so now we have finished another corner we need to chain one and we have this chain one space before we get to our last corner which is halfway finished so in this chain one space we're going to work three doubles there's one two and there's three make sure you chain one after that and now to finish it off we're going to finish it off the same way we did on the previous round so remember we have half of our corner made because we started out with three double crochets so we're going to go into this chain space and we're going to work three more doubles there's one two three and we're going to end by putting a half double crochet into the first double crochet that we made and that is going to act as our chain space there we go that's round three completed it's looking pretty good now round four is the repeat round um, we're just going to keep repeating what we do on this next round it, it in the square will just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and you, get, you can make them as big as you'd like so again we will start off with the chain one which doesn't count as anything work right back into the same space and we work three double crochets into it just like always there's one two and three now what we'll do is we're going to be working at three double crochets in every chain one space until you get to your chain two space until you get to the corner so it's, it's three double crochets and a chain one in between each one of the chain one spaces now the bigger your round gets every time you complete a round you'll have another chain one space so this time we have two the next the next round there'll be three the next round there'll be four in between your corners so but make sure you chain one in between so chain one here and in this chain one space we work it's three double crochets so there's one two three chain one jump to the next chain one space and work three double crochets there's one two three chain one and now we are at our corner our chain two space and we're going to do the same thing that we did on the previous round go into the chain space and we're going to work three double crochets there's one two three chain two slide it on over if you need to and work three more doubles into the same chain space and there we have our corner made i'm going to start again by chaining one and we're going to put three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one and now we are at our chain two space our corner so we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing at the corners we are going to work three double crochets into that chain two space
chain two, slide it over if you need to, and work three more double crochets into the same space. And now we have another corner made, and we're going to start again by chaining one, and into the next chain one space we will work three double crochets. There's one, two, three, chain one, jump to your next chain one space and work three double crochets, one, two, three, chain one, and now we are at our corner, our chain two space, so in that chain two space we are going to work three double crochets, A chain of two, slide it over if you need to to make room and work three more double crochets into the same chain space and we have created our corner again. And now we're going to chain one and we're going to work into the next chain one space, three double crochets. There's one, two, and there's three, and then we're going to chain one, and into the next chain one space, we are going to work three double crochets. There's one, there's two, there's three, and then we're going to chain one, and now we are at where we started, so we have our half a corner here. So we already have our three double crochets, so we're going to work right back into the chain space here, and we're going to work three more doubles. There's one, two, and three, and you would end it with a half double crochet into our first double crochet, and then we would start again repeating. So we would chain one, work three double crochets here, and then we would chain one, and we would work three double crochets and a chain one in each one of these chain spaces until we get to our next corner. And there is where we would do the three doubles, chain two, three doubles, and we would start again. And like I said, every row is going to have another chain one space for you to put three more double crochets in, and that's how it grows. So that's what it starts to look like. I am going to show you one thing. Once you get your square as big as you want it to, me to be, so say this is as big as I want my square to be, and then once you finish, your square is as big as you want it to be, we are not going to end our last round with a half double crochet. This is how we end the last round. We did our three double crochets and instead of doing a half double crochet into the first double, we're going to end it by chaining two and slip stitching into the first half double crochet. This is only on the very last round when we're not gonna do any more rows and we slip stitch it through and then we go ahead and clip our yarn with dull scissors <laughs> and hide our tail. So we go ahead and pull it through and we grab our yarn needle and go ahead and get your yarn on there. Good way to hide the tail is go through the same stitch that you slip stitch through So it looks about even and then flip your work over and weave your ends weave your end in don't pull it too tight to where it makes your makes it look crooked up there keep it kind of straight as possible and then go back the other way a couple times one more time the opposite direction just to be sure and then you can clip this off and then you'll need to hide your main tail as well the same way and then you'll be finished and that is how I do the basic granny now remember everybody does them different but there's no really no wrong way it's just whichever way you prefer I think it looks good I like it with the no seam um, the half double crochet to end the round uh, makes it pretty much seamless. So um, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you were able to follow along okay. 
Um, this was, like I said, a highly requested video. So I hope all of you that requested it found this very useful. Um, and as always, don't forget to hit that like button, a subscribe button, and leave me a comment below if you can. Let me know if you're going to make, if you make these, if it's your first time ever making them, how well you did, um, or what, what, what you're going to make at them. I'd really love to uh, see it. Um, you can always post a picture of your finished granny squares if it's your first time or whatever on my uh, Facebook page, Instagram. You can come follow me at all those places. There's links below. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a good day, okay? Bye guys.